I know. Hi, I know. I've every time I <laughs> see the images, it makes me cry. <laughs> um, having having French lineage within me, my mother French. Um, I've been many times to Notre Dame, and to see those images is is really heartbreaking, really really heartbreaking, and. Um, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this live was to share because what had hap what's been happening over the last 24 hours is that I've had quite a hi Sandy I've had quite a <laughs> lovely for you to connect in I've had quite um, a number of people you know like text me or ask me saying Chloe what's going on you know why, why has this happened what's the symbolic meaning behind the, this this fire and so um, by tuning in and also actually because when I work on on other people I get to actually read the grid through that process as well and so I was able to get um, you know quite a lot of insight as in what's what's going on there and I've also it's also stimulated me to actually do something that I've been meaning to do for a while and haven't actually done so I'll be sharing that with you as well but first thing to say is that you know it's, it absolutely is a huge tragedy and and to see something so ancient with so much history uh, just be destroyed literally overnight is devastating and I just want to share a, a couple of um, things about this grid location so as we know many sacred sacred sites or should I say many temples cathedrals churches are actually built on sacred sites so what we have at Notre Dame is like um an interconnection of many uh, ley lines of light, grid lines of light, that create a sacred site. So before th before they constructed Notre Dame, it it was before that um, an ancient temple of Isis. And interestingly enough, the word Paris comes from the name Parisi, who were the tribe that lived in that small area. Because as sort of a tiny, tiny island, uh, obviously Paris has spread so far out, but originally it's a very, very tiny island. And the Parisis, basically what it meant were that they were the followers of Isis, the goddess Isis. And so there was a, an ancient temple on there. And then obviously over the years, as, as we know with many things, what happens is that gets replaced by churches and cathedrals or other, you know, other constructions within that. So if we look at that grid point from that perspective, it is absolutely a grid point that links to the divine feminine. And we know that France has an ancient history that goes way, way back that really connects in to the divine feminine frequencies. We really see that when we look at a lot of the Black Madonna energies are there. A lot of the, the cathedrals are of a Notre Dame, meaning Our Lady. Uh, we also have a very, very strong heritage of Mary Magdalene frequency there and it really is all to do with that frequency of the divine feminine which is why I feel Mary Magdalene came there especially to the area around the Rennes le Chateau Renly Bain area because it's a huge vortex of energy that links to the goddess Isis and you could see that the, the, the goddess Isis is almost the goddess that is the closest to the whole divine feminine energy, i.e. it's she as a, an energy symbolizes, Isis symbolizes the most deepest, strongest connection that you can get to that divine feminine 
energy along with Mother Mary actually. So two goddesses that you see uh, being pregnant and birthing. They are very much a rebirthing energy which is a big part of the divine feminine frequency. So when you have such a tragedy that happens on this on, on a grid point like this, when you think about the element of fire, it is incredibly rapid purification and so we have a very very strong rapid purification of that grid point now when you take into consideration that the whole of this year is the awakening of the divine feminine of the goddess energy you can start to get a bigger picture of what's happening here so you have a country that is that has a big history in the divine feminine almost symbolizes divine feminine for thousands and millions of people throughout the world you have Notre Dame our lady which is symbolic for 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 whole of France of representing that energy of the divine goddess on the grid point that is the grid point of the goddess Isis of which that energy um, resonates all the way around that whole area. With this year, which is all around the awakening of the divine goddess energy. So what I feel is that when we witness something so deeply devastating at that, it it, support, it triggers us, it supports us to open up our hearts. And that is a big process within the Divine Feminine, is the ability to go within, connect with what you're truly feeling. And so, you, so when we watch, when there's millions of people all over the world watching this cathedral burn down, so they're connecting into that grid point that resonates the divine feminine, it touches their heart and supports them, supports us to go through our own purification process. I hope that makes sense. So really what I feel is that it's, it's, it is through the, the, this absolute tragedy, the gift is is the ability to open up our hearts, clear grief, clear frustration, anger, whatever it pulls up in you to support you to connect in deeper into the divine feminine within you. So it's a huge, huge process. And you can, if you can view it from that higher level, I feel from that higher perspective, I feel it helps to allow to go deeper into that grief process, knowing that, that, that through the tragedy, the gift to each one of us is ability to go deeper in that clearing process however hard <laughs> that is uh, within that. So to me, that's the kind of higher perspective of it. So for me, what it's triggered is that one of the things I wanted to do was to set up a group for people who wanted to work with the planetary energies. I probably um, run one of these maybe once a month or whenever I feel guided. There's already a couple of locations around the planet that I've kind of been nudged that we need to go in as a group and work with. So it's a, it's a free thing that I do. It's part of my service work, as it were. And so feeling very guided to work with this grid point, to go in and do whatever we need to do to support the mass consciousness in the within the awakening, the reawakening of that divine feminine, and also any work at that grid itself. That there might be some work that needs to be needed. I won't know until I absolutely start to work with it. But if you are interested in joining the group and would like to specifically work with that um, with this particular journey, what I've done is I've just set up like an automatic messenger. So if you type in grid worker into the comment box, 
my my mer angel will message you back and uh, just let you know that I'm that we know you're interested and then what I will do I'll send you all the details to this private Facebook group and the details of when I will run this planetary um, grid energy to this location I've got a feeling it'll be sometime over this weekend uh, but if you just put in grid worker, then we, we will know that you would like to uh, join in. So it will be a Facebook live streaming, as it were, and we will all journey to that site and work on that site together. So if that appeals to you, let me know. And also, please, if you know of anybody else that may be interested, that you know would like to join into that journey, um, then please share this so that we can get as many people to join in as possible, you know, whoever feel drawn. And I feel it's going to work on, on different levels. I feel on one level it's going to work for us personally, supporting us in that process. And then, of course, also supporting the grid, which then also supports the planet and, and everybody in that process as well. So thanks so much for tuning in. Take care. And I look forward to journeying with those who would like to work in this very, uh, well, it's very powerful way, actually, with the grid. So, okay, thank you. Bye.